we are back with some typo negative and uh, this was very interesting. I really enjoyed those sultry low vocals and you'll see what I mean when we get into the video. But before we do, you might notice that the format is a little bit different and that's because this was filmed live on my Twitch. And as always, just a friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. And with that said, let's get into it. Forgive her. God, his voice. She knows not what she does. I'm gonna turn my volume to 69. Because I am an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, one thing I'm gonna say, uh, he has absolutely beautiful hair. It's very luscious, um, very long. It's gorgeous. Um, two, his voice is so freaking, so freaking deep. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and just the way that he also has like the, uh, it's all not like a full vocal fry, but it's like. It's got like a little bit of that. Um, and I mean, it's interesting because it's like, he's got this like sultriness going on, but then it keeps cutting to um, the lady in a, uh, in that room, which I'm assuming is like some sort of Christian boarding house or something like that. Um, so this seems very forbidden, you know? Uh, but we're gonna continue watching. She must hide. <laughs> oh, the double entendre now. I mean, the song is called Christian Woman, and there was a Christian woman in a room. And I was informed that this is a song that is, it's a double entendre type of song. And I see it now. I saw it quite clearly, multiple times, um, the double entendre under the sheets, if you get my drift. Um... Also, it was really cool to see, um, oh no, oh no, wait. <gasps> oh no. Um, the lead vocalist also do the guitar. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't realize that he did both of them. That's awesome. Um, 
And I also really liked how in the beginning of the song, like it was very uh, slow and more simple. And then as things are escalating with uh, the lady, things are escalating with the song. Um, yes. This is also giving me like, I think I said this the last, maybe I said this the last time I listened to Typo Negative, but it's giving me like, uh, uh, what is it? Um, is it Jay Ward who does the Dark Lover um, vampire romance series? It's very, it's very specific what it's making me think of, but it's making me think of that. Um, okay. Let's continue. A very low vocal? Is he just doing a very low vocal with vocal fry or was that growls? I think maybe he was just doing a really low vocal fry. She's having some very naughty dreams. I think it's just doing really low vocals with a, a lot of vocal fry in it. Trixy to the ears. I dig it. Okay. That was really interesting. Um... He has a beautiful voice. And I think it's interesting to hear because it's it's like a lot of I haven't really heard anything in a higher register for him. Like it's really been like he's stayed in this um with these really low notes. But he goes like really low. Um so it, it's just, I, you guys know I like, you guys, I know I like low vocals. I just think um, they aren't appreciated enough, you know? And I like them. I like them. Um, also, really cool what he did and how he kind of added more vocal fry to it to make it almost sound like a growly kind of sound. Um, and then I get the doubled entendre, obviously. She's having some shaxy, shaxy dreams. Um... I myself am not really religious, so for me, I'm just like, get it, girl. But um, I understand. Um, I get it. Uh, we all have uh, our own set of morals and rules in life. Her, those are, I guess those are trespassing hers, but I'm just like, get it, girl. Um, but the song was really interesting. Vocals were great. Um, and I want to say thank you so much for recommending. I hope that you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.